Welcome to Nursing School Explained and another video in the top 10 most commonly prescribed medications and today we'll go over Norco. Now here's something to be said about Norco that is a brand name and Norco always consists of hydrocodone which is an opioid analgesic with acetaminophen which is a non-opioid analgesic. So for example, because we have these two medications here contained in that brand name Norco, usually you will see Norco 5 slash 500 or 5 slash 325, which means that the 5 here is the milligrams of the hydrocodone and the 500 or 325 is the milligram of acetaminophen that that medication, that particular pill contains. And so the opioid analgesic here um, is used for moderate to severe pain, but it also has antitussive properties. And the way that all opioid analgesics work is they bind to the CNS opioid receptors. They don't actually do anything to the pain per se, but because they're bind to these receptors, it changes the patient's pain perception. So they just think the pain is less. Um, and with the antitussive properties, it also decreases the cough reflex, which is why sometimes you'll see this or any kind of um, um, cough syrup with codeine prescribed for a cough, because it really helps if the patient had like a bad cold, for example. Most common side effects, because we have that CNS depression, it can cause confusion, dizziness, drowsiness, always also can cause low blood pressure. And then the most important one here is respiratory depression because of that central nervous system depression. And that's the one we really have to worry about the most here. It's also known to cause constipation. So that's why patients many times are prescribed stool softeners when they get prescribed Norco. So for nursing considerations, we always want to check blood pressure and heart rate before and after administration because we know it can cause hypotension. And we want to be extra meticulous about checking the patient's respiratory rate and hold or not administer the medication if their respirations are less than 10 because we know that because of that CNS depression, it can cause respiratory depression. And if they're already at 10, it might drop them down to five and pretty soon they're gonna stop breathing. We also wanna assess the patient's bowel function, knowing that it can cause constipation, encourage increased fiber and water intake, and then the stool softeners that I already mentioned. Now for any kind of pain assessment, we wanna assess the pain prior and after administration. So you wanna be familiar with the acronyms PQRST or old cards for pain assessment. Now any kind of opioids can cause physical and psychological, psychological dependency or tolerance. So we wanna make sure that the patient is on this medication for hopefully only a short period of time until they can transition out of whatever they're dealing with pain-wise and then or come up with other pain relieving measures. The Norco is also available in extended release. So those cannot be crushed or chewed because then the delivery um, of that medication in these fragments as it gets digested is uncontrolled and we don't know when that depression might set in and when they might be breathing less than 10. Um, the antidote is Narcan. I think with the op opioid crisis we're dealing with, most people have heard of Narcan as the antidote. And this can actually now in most states be purchased over the counter, uh, which is nice uh, for patients that are taking opioids and or their family members to be familiar with on how to use that. Signs and symptoms of an opioid overdose include respiratory depression, so respirations less than 10, Pinpoint pupils, which there's no fail, you will always be able to see that. And CNS depression, all the way from drowsiness to slurred speech to being completely unresponsive. Very important is to teach our patients that they cannot, absolutely not drink alcohol, take any benzodiazepines, other opioids or other CNS depressions, such as anti-depressant uh, uh, um, medications or anything else that has an effect on the central nervous system because these medications just have the cumulative effect of causing the respiratory depression. 
And for pregnancy and lactation, we want to avoid chronic use because it can cause neonatal opioid withdrawal and then the poor infant has to deal with that right after they are born. So thank you so much for watching this video on Norco, one of the top 10 most commonly prescribed medications. Also check out the other videos in the playlist and I'll see you soon right here on Nursing School Explained.